So in this video we're going to be doing the double exposure effect and I'm going to start out by cutting the girl out of this picture. So if you click here to change to selections persona and then click on the brush. And then make sure that the mode is set to add and we've got snap to edges on. And then we're just going to paint over the girl. So right now you can see that it's getting her hair in but it's also getting some of the background in which we don't want so we're just going to refine that selection by clicking this and then if you just brush over the part of the hair that shows the background and that will hide it from the selection. And then once you're happy with it, click the tick. Go over to the layer studio, click on the, make sure that is highlighted. Click on the plus sign and then click on mask layer. Then hold your finger on the screen and press deselect. And now we just want to duplicate this picture. So if we go back over here and again, make sure that the picture of the girl is highlighted, not the mask, otherwise you'll just be copying the mask and then press duplicate. And then you'll see it's obviously copied out up here. I'm then gonna use this photo, which I'm gonna drag onto the bottom picture. So it falls underneath. So then if we just hide the top layer so we can see that picture. And then we can just move it around where we want it. And then if we bring back that picture again and then click on the three dots, we can change the blend mode to average. And then just to bring some more detail back into it, go in the adjustment studio and then go down to levels. Bring the blacks up and bring the whites down a little bit. And that'll just help to add a bit more contrast. And then once you've done that, you can just place it on whatever background you want. So if I just add a new pixel layer, click this here, and then go across to solid, you can see it's just a white blank page now, and I'll drag that to the very bottom. 